Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the State Road 50 Resurfacing Public Meeting. Jude Jean Francois is the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation for this project. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447093-1. That's cflroads dot com forward slash P-R-O-J-E-C-T forward slash 447093-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at dot smith two at dot dot state dot fl dot us that's j e n n i f e r dot s m i t h the number two at dot dot s t a t e dot fl dot us you may also contact jacqueline paramore state title six coordinator by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, mail station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. That's J-A-C-Q-U-E L I N E dot P A R A M O R E at D O T dot S T A T E dot F L dot U S. This information is shown on a sign at the in person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The goal of this project is to extend the life of State Road 50 slash State Road 33, also known as West and East Broad Street and Orange Street, by resurfacing the eastbound side of the roadway from just west of where State Road 50 slash State Road 33 splits to Crichton Street in Groveland in South Central Lake County. Another goal is to provide safety enhancements for pedestrians and bicyclists. The purpose of this meeting is to hear your feedback about these proposed improvements. Currently, eastbound State Road 50 slash State Road 33 has two travel lanes with on-street parking scattered throughout the corridor. There are also sidewalks on both sides of the roadway. There are no bike lanes. This project includes repaving the eastbound travel lanes. To improve connectivity and safety for bicyclists, the department is considering replacing the on-street parking on the south side of the roadway with a separated bicycle lane. If the bike lane is constructed, the project would widen into the median to provide a bicycle lane that would run between the right turn lane and the outside through lane at the Crichton Street intersection. Additionally, the project team is evaluating removal of obsolete or abandoned driveways and reconstruction of the curb line 
in some locations to introduce small alignment shifts that help to encourage slower driving speeds. The entire corridor will be repaved from the beginning of the project where the road splits to Crichton Street. As we mentioned, the proposed bike lane would be on the south side of State Road 50 slash State Road 33 and would be separated by a raised barrier to provide more safety for cyclists. On the north side of the roadway, the project plans to retain some on-street parking and construct curb extensions to help reduce driver speeds and to help increase sight distance at intersections around the parking that is remaining. There will be a mid-block crosswalk for pedestrians at the bus stop loading and unloading pad to cross State Road 50 slash State Road 33 behind the bus after drop-off. The crossing will have a pedestrian activated crossing signal above the crosswalk. The department is evaluating other mid-block crossing locations along the corridor, which would have pedestrian activated flashing lights or rectangular rapid flashing beacons. Rectangular rapid flashing beacons or RRFBs are flashing lights that are pedestrian activated and give more visibility at marked crosswalks to alert drivers to pedestrians. The two rapid flashing yellow lights are mounted below a yellow pedestrian crossing sign. They remain dark until activated by a pedestrian wishing to cross. When pedestrians come to the intersection, they push the button to activate the beacon. You can find the button on the pedestrian crossing sign under the look push button for warning lights sign. The lights located above will begin flashing to alert motorists of the pedestrian's intent to cross the street. After pressing the warning lights button, pedestrians should look both ways before crossing and make eye contact with drivers. Pedestrians may then enter the crosswalk when motorists have come to a complete stop or there is no traffic closer than the safe stopping distance. Pedestrians should continue to look in both directions while crossing the street. The RRFB is a tool to help drivers recognize a crosswalk and see that a pedestrian wants to cross. Under Florida law, drivers are required to stop at any pedestrian crossing when pedestrians are visible. Once the lights of the RRFB are activated, drivers must stop and wait to proceed until the pedestrian is no longer in the travel lane. For more information on rectangular rapid flashing beacons or RRFBs, log on to www.alerttodayflorida.com. That's www.alerttodayflorida.com. New pedestrian signal poles will be added at the intersections of State Road 19 or Lake Street and at Main Street. The two bus stops at State Road 19 and Indiana Avenue would allow the bus to use the proposed bike lane temporarily for loading and unloading only if the bike lane is constructed. This will allow the bus to pull out of the travel lane near the signalized intersections. The project will also add wider backplates to the vehicle's signal heads to improve visibility of the signal's lights. Enhanced pedestrian lighting is also planned. At the Crichton Street intersection, if constructed, the bike lane would be located between the outside through lane and the right turn lane. The bike lane would then connect to the existing bike lane east of Crichton Street. The last bus stop will also incorporate a bus loading unloading pad and a mid-block crosswalk for pedestrians to cross State Road 50 slash State Road 33 behind the bus after drop-off. This project is currently in the design phase and is expected to be complete in early 2023 at a cost of $618,000. The project will be completed within the existing right of way. Construction is anticipated to begin in early 2024 at an estimated cost of $1.4 million.
To learn more about this project, you can go to www.cflroads.com, enter the project number 447093-1 in the search box at the top of the screen and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by March 7th, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. To submit comments in person, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written comments or questions in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447093-1. That's cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447093-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at jude.jeanfrancois at dot.state.fl.us. That's j-u-d-e dot j-e-a-n dash f-r-a-n-c-o-i-s at d-o-t dot s-t-a-t-e Dot fl dot us, or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5487 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by March 7, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447093-1. Have a good evening and remember safety is everyone's responsibility.